created exactly 40 years ago. A quest for unparalleled excellence, seeded, watered and nurtured by unmatched prose, tradition and character, now bears the best and nourishes the fruits. The Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering stands stout and proud at the very apex in its own sphere, a class apart and an unqualified caliber of its own. The University of Morito supercilously prevails as the best of the universities in our own country and ranked as the 11th best university in South Asia, needless to say that it draws the best made cakes of this nation. And the competition, dream and yearning of any student entering the University of Morito would unsurprisingly promise to be able to earn themselves a place in our department. The department we are proud to assert with our egotistical voices. The Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering. And this is where the best made cakes of this nation get the best of icing on them. It is indeed a pleasure to be in this department. We get a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. We are out a lot of things and uh, not only that, we get a lot of exposure into non-technical uh, areas and even uh, pra get a lot of practical knowledge through, this, through the work we do. Uh, it's very important when you go, go to industry and it helps us a lot in many ways. The department has always strived hard to escalate up the rungs of success, today at the top and being the most sought for department in the university. It has started to transgress limits which were thought to be high up. It transformed undergraduates into state-of-the-art engineers for whom the demand in the industry could never be humbled. The contribution and commitment rendered by the academic staff of professors, lecturers and instructors has been immense in facilitating the success of our department. The service done by them, the technical assistants and the non-academic staff in moulding the enthusiastic undergraduates is indeed invaluable. I think we have a highly motivated set of staff here who are very enthusiastic and uh, do a lot of extra work to make sure that our uh, whatever we do here in the department is right at the forefront. The department offers the best of facilities that one could expect, comprehensively equipped with ample resources to cater the needs of students to take up any challenge in the field of electronics and telecommunication systems. A fully-fledged computer lab where students can work and have access to the internet at fastest of speed. The electronic workshop where the physical circuitry is done. The analog laboratory, digital laboratory, communication laboratory, microwave laboratory and the artificial intelligence workshop are amongst the wide range of facilities available for our undergraduates. With modern equipments and resources that keep intact of novel technological advancements, the Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering offers up-to-date and paramount facilities that any other academic institution in Sri Lanka. Our undergraduates have always reaped these benefits and made maximum use of the resources available to give back to the society products and services which are to say the least priceless. The final year projects and other endeavours taken up by our undergraduates have presented novel inventions and technologies to our country, where people from all forms of life are able to benefit from. Actually, uh, we learn so many theories and so many things in our first, second and third years of our university. And uh, we think and we feel that we should uh, apply the things that we have learned up to this now, up to this point, we have we we, we have an obligation to uh, put the things into practice because we are going to be engineers in one day. So we must have the ability to get these things, acquire these things, and put these things into practice so that the uh, people or the society will benefit. Uh, so actually, we are in the process of gathering the knowledge we have covered up to this point and uh, giving an output to the to the society. Our undergraduates, whilst being phenomenal academics, also rank high in many other fields. Found among their numbers are many a colorsmen and women of many prominent sports such as rugby, badminton, rowing and tennis. The annual E-Night sees the magical transformation of our high-tech department into an entertainment extravaganza. The night comes alive with fun and laughter with the unleashing of many a hidden talent of the undergraduates of our department. The department offers postgraduate studies and research as well, 
where the extensive master's program have also seen our postgraduates excelling and serving the community in advanced methods in their field of specialization. Telecommunication and electronic system leaders in the industry have deployed their research laboratories within our department and the efforts that have been taken by our department to cater the industry's needs and to produce quality engineers enhancing the standards of the industry is remarkable. In this laboratory, we try to do global research locally so that we can impact the lives of our people using the global research which happens out there. So in that regard, we invest our time on electronic systems research, then computer vision research, biomedical engineering, and many other aspects which are interesting to both our country as well as the research world out there. The Dialogue Lab was set up in 2005 with the main objective of promoting applied research in telecommunications, uh, specifically in wireless technologies. We have currently six research engineers working in the lab, all of whom are funded by Dialog, as well as the equipment in the lab. Owing to the tradition and standards set by each person who has been a part of this journey and by all those who stepped out of our department into society as successful individuals, the onus is always on us to preserve, cherish, enhance and foster them to remain iconic in terms of the standards in the field of electronic and telecommunications. University of Monotour, uh, the Department of Electronics and Telecom and its faculty, I think has played a, a predominant role in, in molding my professional career. Actually, it laid a solid foundation uh, to my professional career. Apart from the academic know-how which is given, I mean, which is at the world-class level, you know, according to my perception, uh, the the faculty, the the prominent uh, members of the faculty at that time, with whom we uh, had the fortune uh, fortunate, we were fortunate enough to interact, uh, fashion our personalities uh, to a greater extent. You ask me to put everything together in one statement. We, what we do is we challenge the particular students that come to the department and we provide them with instruction and expectations, which up to now I'm very glad to say you have met. And on top of that, we try to make you, uh, make you an engineer who is human and you feel for the outside world. We have reached the top and are never willing to stop. Thanks to what we had, what we have and what we evidently will have in the prospect of a bright and rewarding future. What lies beyond the achievements of all our staff and undergraduates of past two score years is immortality. Immortality to this department of electronic and telecommunication engineering where traditions are kept, quality is met and benchmarks are set. And the legacy goes on.